Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. Yep, I got the hat to prove it right there. And we are at Copart here in Tulsa, Oklahoma doing another walk around video because they have a little bit of everything for everyone, even semis. Yes, even boats and motorhomes and of course, convertibles, SUVs, ATVs, all kinds of really cool vehicles. So we're gonna check out a couple today. One of them I really like because it reminds me of my college. So let's get to that. Let's get to work. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? Right, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I like fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm Nothing. in the car. And first up, another Jaguar. Can't say Jaguar, gotta say Jaguar. XF 2011 model right here. And I chose this one because it's not just any Jaguar. Well, see, I just said it, Jaguar. Jaguar. This is the supercharged version. Yes, 400 and what is it, 70 horsepower. I think uh, 4.7, zero to 60. So it's even quicker, supposedly, than the uh, Porsche Panamera that we had GTS a, in the other video. As you can see though, we have a situation. She's a little wobbly. She's a little, she like hurt, broke her ankles or something. Yeah, she was going so fast, I think. She kind of slid into the curb or something and see how this is tilted down and see how this is tilted down and in a little bit. So you do have some uh, suspension and some uh, <laughs> steering issues. This, steer, this wheel is going that way this one's going that way so she's kind of like this yeah she's kind of a little pigeon toed but that's not is it a deal breaker I don't know just the whole supercharged that's that's what has me so intrigued so intrigued and I gotta say I love the interior this one has a little bit of damage there was one at the other auto auction place that I really liked but it had a horrible knock this one is nice, okay? It's more of a basic, the tan, it's okay. You got this bleached wood look right here. Oh, you can make a little money back. Oh, here we go. They like their sticks. Optimo, what are these? Uh, oh, $1.50, there you go. So they probably replaced the tobacco with some of the good stuff in their sticks. A little more money up under here. What's in here? Oh, woo! Got some smell good stuff in here and a toothbrush. You're on some little trees. Here's your toothbrush. New car scent. That's why it smells so good. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is this a wedding ring? Is this an engagement ring? No, it's $78 sterling silver gold plated something or other. Okay. And in case you need to, you got that. Okay, we'll put all this back. You do have USB connector right there and an auxiliary connector. Open sesame. And there she is. Oh, she's clean. Oh, oh, supercharged. Love it. Look at the fluids. They look good. Okay. You're full. Power steering. Wow. This is this would be so fun to work on, don't you think? There's not much room for anything. It really isn't. Hmm. She looks really clean right here. I don't know why this is worn. That's kind of wild. That's different. Jaguar, Jaguar Cars Limited, vehicle information, 2011 model year, gasoline is the fuel, yay. 
yay, yay. This is cool. Let's see if we can get in. Can we get in the trunk at all? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's just see here real quick. Oh. Here's some key. Some keys and a screw. Is this for the back? Is this even for this car? No, this one's blank. This one has something. What is this? And there's a little key, keyhole. Let's just see if we can get it in there. Mm, come on. There you go. Is this it? It is. I think it is. Okay, hold on. We'll be right back. There it is. We did it. We got it. Okay. Ooh. Dominoes. Let's play the dominoes and drink some tea while we're smoking the weed. Okay. Wow, what's underneath here? You should have a spare that's there. There's that. This is cool. This is really, really cool. All right, should we turn the key and see what's going to happen? I don't know. Okay, so we do have this. We'll give her a little start, and this should raise. Okay? Hope you can see. There, see how it goes up? Oh! Okay, so we do have a service required. Door open. Turn off the radio. She sounds like a beast, doesn't she? Trunk is open. Okay, we know that. Ignition is on. I know that. Tire pressure. Check tire pressure. Okay. Tire pressure system fault. We know that. 112,000 miles. Adaptive dynamics fault. 112,000 miles. Wow. And look at this. Look how cool this is. Audio. Climate off. Heated, cooled seats. Navigation. Oh, I like how that moves. I agree. Here we are. Right at the co part. Look how it kind of curves. That's different. It's still kind of finding us. I look, oh, I like this little button right here and see how it lowers. <laughs> yes. Oh, a little bag of fuses. Oh, and a tester. Someone's been poking around in here. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. Okay. Well, she sounds good. I can't turn the steering wheel or anything else, but I gotta tell you, she sounds mean. So what is it? It appears just to be some steering and suspension issues for her. And plus all of that right there. Okay. I love this. I love it. All right, here's something I was interested in. Yeah, why? It's my college colors, Oklahoma State, orange and black. And it matches my coffee cup right over there. See that? It's a perfect match to my coffee cup. And there goes a giant truck. Morgan towing. Yeah, for the big old semis. Anyway, we're going to back it up. I know I'm getting you dizzy. I'm sorry. Yeah, 2016 Ford Mustang with a bit of a bumper issue right here. Okay. Yeah, that's going to have to be fixed. Duct tape will fix that. No big deal. The problem is back here. Now, good and bad. Well, the bumper is going to cover up half of it, <laughs> but it's right here where it's pretty serious and there's some good creases and you can't get your, yeah, that could be problematic. You can't add gas. You can't put your gas in there. This looks like it's a little off too. Okay. As far as other crash damage, the rear bumper looks okay. What's left of it, that little bracket looks okay. Little scratch right here. Nothing on this side. I like the wheels. Those are cool. Kind of a weird take on typical Mustang wheels. I like it and the inside is really nice. It looks really good. Okay, same issue with the bumper on this side too. And someone zip tied it so it doesn't come off. Okay, zip ties always work. That always works, but look at it. This is a good looking car. I like how the front kind of 
bulges right there, right above the wheels. Yeah, when they updated this, they really did. Oh, and there's power. That's a good sign. There's your rear bumper. Okay. Well, let's hop in. Ugh. And we have our key. We have power. We have the brake on. We're ready to go. Three, two, one, ignition. Yep. Sounds good. Driver door jar, 153,000 miles. And I like this. That's kind of cool. Now they've added that. Mustang since 1964. What? What? Hill start assist not available. Okay. What else are you going to tell me? Service advanced track. Okay. Engine is on. No duh. Driver door, door ajar. Tire pressure. Oh, I didn't notice. We got a flat tire in the back. Zero miles to empty. Ugh, oil change required. That engine sounds so good, though. Oh, my gosh. That engine is nice. Of course it is. It's a 2016. Next oil service due. Oh, 145. It was changed, I guess. Yeah, 10 of 22. Oil was changed. Let's just break quickly. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so we need some air. You could drive this home. Absolutely. You really could. Okay. Here we go, and come on. Open sesame. Not the prettiest. These aren't the prettiest engines. But they're easy to work on. And this sounds nice. It's, there's no jiggle to it. There, something may have been in there chewing on it for a little bit right there, maybe. A rodent has gotten in. You know, I love my squirrels, but I don't like them when they start eating wires in my old Mercedes. That's when I, I call it quits. We say goodbye to the squirrels, thanks to some uh, special food I put out for them. This sounds really good. This car, I love this. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, we're gonna write the number down and we're gonna remember it. It may go for more than what I can bid on it because the damage is minimal, but it's in the back and a lot of people are afraid of that. I am not. Finally, check this out. Yep, a 2011 Beamer. It's the 535i. X drive, four wheel drive, and it looks to be in pretty good condition. She bumped into something. She had a little, she bumped her nose, I guess is a good way to put it. But she's a good looking car. I like the previous series as well. I really do. They have some issues, but they are nice looking cars. And here's where she bumped her nose. Yep, that's it. So get yourself a bumper, a headlight, a grill. You could probably even reuse this. <laughs> and you'd be fine, unless, unless there's damage to the radiator or the condenser. And I don't know. I really don't know. But on the inside, there we go with the black. Yep. This is nice. Wait a minute. Why do we have an M? It's not an M. Maybe it's just the... Well, okay, maybe that's just like a little upgrade. It's not an M5. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, look at this. That's nice. That's really nice. We have all kinds of little buttons right here to do all kinds of things. This is a comfortable seat though. This really is. Okay, let's see what the engine says because all of a sudden, I'm greatly intrigued. Okay, I think we can open the hood. It's a blue. It looks black, but it's a very nice looking blue. And the interior is in really good shape. This is cool. This is really cool. Can we open the hood? We can. Maybe. Where is my little pole? Here we go. 
There it is. Oh, twin power turbo. Well, okay. Yes, sir. This changes things a little bit. This is really cool. Okay. And as far as damage, how far did you get? No, I think everything's far enough back because your radiator, your radiator's right here. Your condenser is gonna be right here. So I don't think it was damaged. I think you could pull this out and everything underneath would be okay. I really do. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can give her a little push of a button. See what happens. Okay. Transmission malfunction. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, she didn't even want to try to start. Transmission malfunction. What, what gear am I in? Park. We're in park. And nothing. She is so close to starting. Dadgummit. Transmission malfunction, which is probably pretty serious. So we're very slowly going to back away. Yeah, I think we're going to have to back away on this one. So this is one of those cars that kind of scares me. You know, I get feelings about these cars. And I'm kind of wishy-washy on this one. Yeah, that was... She's so close. I mean, she is just... But she won't. Service due since 100,000 miles and a transmission. Headlamp vertical aim control malfunction. Okay, well, sign up. We're going to keep these videos coming and we're going to get our hands dirty because I have lots of cars that I need to get back on the road. All right, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.